Welcome to the start of my new Thrace Let's Play, and this is a slightly modded campaign. Uh, first of all, it's called the Greek mod, and it does two things really. It increases the historical accuracy of the Greek factions, and it also um, makes the Roman faction united to increase the difficulty a bit. Uh, for example, I'll just very quickly go over it. Um, a few settlement border changes as well, uh, but all settlements should be fine. Uh, this is now a Hellenistic Egypt or a Ptolemaic Egypt, uh, so they don't have Greek style units. Um, the Greek city states, for example, start off with Masana and uh, they start off with Massilla as well. Uh, Carthage has had a slight expansion, uh, they've got Apollonia, and Byzantium as well is now Greek. Interesting. Oh, they've even got Crimea as well, that's nice. Uh, so that's what it does, it increases the challenge of it by making the AI factions more powerful and historically accurate at the same time. Let's start with Athens as well. And in addition to that, to uh, keep the Thracians a bit more accurate, uh, to represent how much they liked uh, their, their skirmish units, uh, they have a heavy peltus unit now, which is much better than the light one. Uh, 11 missile attack uh, compared to 7 missile attack, and they've got better range as well. Uh, thank you to Avazef for making this mod. So, right now we're playing as Thrace. Now, the normal barracks gets us normal pikemen. Okay. Um, I prefer hoplites, but pikemen I guess will be fine. Then we get phalanx pikemen and phalanxmen. Alright, so the second layer um, of barracks is, is definitely going to be a must. We'll have to push to that. Um, do we get any good cavalry? Oh, militia cavalry. That's missile unit. Oh. Alright, we get Greek cavalry. Okay, that's okay. I can live with that. Still, they're not that great. And the most interesting thing about Thrace, I think, is their temples. Um, what we're going to be building in our military settlements is a shrine to Ares. Tier 1, it does nothing. Uh, but tier 2... Plus one m morale per troops. Plus two morale, plus three morale, plus four morale. And we get some other nice stuff as well. Uh, to put into context how much morale that really is, a peasant starts off with one morale, a Hastarti I think is four morale, and a Praetorian is twelve morale. So, yeah, if you have like, let's say you've got a Triarii, uh, you train it in a plus four morale settlement, I bet it will have the morale of a Praetorian unit, uh, roughly. Uh, a peasant trained in one of these settlements here with maximum morale boost, uh, that will be four times more morale. Uh, just to put it into context how much it really is. Alright, now, where are we going to go? Uh, we've got vict small victory objectives, 15 settlements and Macedon, so we don't have to push into Greece at some point. Yeah, I'd like to unite Greece. Scythia is gonna be very annoying because we've got nothing that can deal with their uh, with their missile troops, their missile cavalry, which had done an absolutely slaughter us. Do we even have any archers? Yeah, we get archers. What tier do we get those? Ah, tier two. All right, we got some archers. That's not too bad. All right, so. Let's build t no, let's build ports first, get our economy to go in. Oh, that's interesting. I uh, just had a quick look now. I uh, forgot to mention this. Parthia has their own like, uh, unique starting location up here. Uh, two settlements to represent the Parni uh, before they actually came down to become Parthia. I like that. Nice touch. I didn't know he added two settlements there. Okay, so yeah, that's one of our neighbours there. They've done the slaughters. We might actually be best uh, pushing on them now. Killing a few of their troops uh, before they can actually, you know, get a lot of missile cav. If we take this settlement from them, then it's going to take them a few turns to actually get down here. So yeah, if we can hold this settlement, we should be fine against Scythia. Then we've got the Dacians, who start with a big army round about here. They could cause a lot of issues. Macedon and the Greeks. Ooh, Thessalonica is a very valuable settlement. If I can get my troops in there, we could be off to a really good start. So you know what, I'm actually going to... <sighs> Dacia or the Greeks, who do we want an alliance with? The Greeks, because they also have Crimea. We'll get that next turn. 
Right, our spy, uh, move down here, Thessalonica. I'm gonna try and get in with a, yeah, an easy entrance, hopefully. Right, first of all, let's check up here. Can I get any good mercenaries? Oh, I can put it under siege this turn. Uh, should I do it? Do I do it? Do I try and knock out uh, Scythia now? It's the capital. How many units will I have? I'll have five to their six. You know what? I've got to do it. All troops in. Get the mercenaries. Point under siege. Missile cavalry. Nah, nah, nah. We don't need that. Um, yep, get a peasant unit to act as garrison. Right, what do we do over here? Oh, missile cavalry. Why would it give us this rubbish? Uh, right, disband that one. We'll leave one in as uh, a garrison unit. Get our troops out. No mercenaries. How are finances looking next turn? We're actually going to go down. Ugh. Right, looking at that, that's only 10 uh, denarii difference, so uh, we, we won't disband them. Um, oh, some roads would have been nice. Um, right, that's a big risk doing that. Big risk. Right, we're going to have to go into a bit of debt, but I think it's going to be necessary. We have a very weak faction. We need to, we need, we need to hit the start of the game very strong. Uh, which means taking a few risks. Okay, good. They're kind of leaving it open. Any good mercenaries can't afford them anywhere. Come on, Greeks. Come on. I know you love me. Um, I, I don't want map information. Just get this alliance and trade rights. Ah! Alright, trade then. I'll give you my maps. Come on. Oh, I'll try again next turn. Uh, we've got more troops up here. Can I get my spine? 100% chance of success. Right, that's good to see. Who is this guy? He's good. 100% chance of success. Yeah, in every settlement it seems. I don't know. Maybe because it's early game? I don't know. Right, I need to get these ports up quick. Uh, next turn I think it is. Macedon bringing more troops down. No, send them to the Greek regions. Ooh. I'm kind of tempted to just hide in the trees or something. Ah, they, they can see me anyway. Right, just stand there, see what, how they respond. I'm, I might still have to turn around and go for the Greeks. Uh, how is this looking? Can I take this? Um, finances are oh, still going down even with the ports. Alright, what's the odds here? Missile cavalry. Oh, it's all just archers. I've got nothing to deal with that. Four turns. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for them to come for me. Oh, but then we'll be fighting on the field. Oh, it, it, we we got to fight on the field. I can't fight all those missile units as a siege. We've got nothing to counter it. Come on, Greeks. Come on. Trade rights for maps. They accept, right. Now, run up to Dacia. Because they could have an army just here. These early turns are going to decide everything. Oh, we're just bringing more troops in. Actually, that could work. That could work in our favour. What are the Greeks doing? What weirdos. Um, <laughs> they just stood there, right. Oh, they're not allied, are they? I'm thinking if I attack this army here and bring this army in... Could walk into Thessalonica. Uh, no, they're not allied. Good, because if they were allied, that would put me at war with the Greeks. And they'll bring their army in. Alright then, let's go for it. Yep, war with Macedon. Good, they're willing to attack. Can we get into Thessalonica here? Uh, two pikemen. Uh, the general. Cavalry will be difficult. We really need to kill that general. We need to kill everyone, really. 85% of both armies and the general. Okay, now most of our troops here are skirmishers. Right, I'm gonna have to... Which army do I take out first? Do I quickly take out this army and then deal with that one? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I've got to do. I'll charge all my troops up that hill. We'll take out that army. And we'll turn around and... Oh, but what if they leave the battle? Well, that, if we fight them there, that's going to be uphill. At least this way we might be able to get... You know, gain some high ground easily. Um, missile cavalry, you know what to do. Be annoying. As always, just be annoying. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go. Where are they? Oh, they're way back over there. Right, go on troops. Uh, missile cavalry. Yeah, just be annoying. That's all you need to do. Their speciality. Come on, like, get one light cavalry at chasing after me. Actually, get them coming get them coming towards my army. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. And then we can take out their light cavalry with our... Oh, they're sending both their cavalry. Okay, this is good. This is gonna work. Right now, charging, go. Okay, good, we got them on the side there. Uh, don't, um, actually, yeah, start messing about with those. Fire at will on them. Right, come on, cavalry, have you done your job? Yep, remember to run them all down. Can't let any of those get away. Um, you know what, these guys here, they can turn around and face these ones now. Um, let's just pause it. Uh, phalanx, right, where do I want these? Um, they might charge the heavy cavalry, so get the pikes set up like that. Okay, right, cavalry, get back over here. Yeah, if a few get away, that's alright. Right, these infantry here, your job is to uh, get the phalanxes to turn the other way. Right, keep being annoying. Good. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, this could work. Okay, you got to be careful where you go. Okay, we can charge in. Go, 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 go. Uh, right, good, good, good. It worked, it worked. Right, cavalry, um, get round. Try and kill the general if you can. Right, we didn't really lose any units there. Bodyguards are can be trained. Um... Okay, you get over there. Are they fleeing? They'd better not be fleeing. No, they're fleeing. No. No, we'd lose the campaign if they flee. No. Oh, they can't flee. No, okay. Um, well, it's not a guaranteed loss, but it's, it's really not going to look good for us. Oh, they've, they've fled. We lost. We lo well, we lost this battle for definite. That was a defeat. We had one chance and we had to get into Thessalonica. Oh, these fleeing as well. These are better not be fleeing. Um, right, we we got to charge in. We can't let them get out. Because if they get in the settlement as well... We've got to kill 85% of those. Um, come on. They fled out. Oh, that's that's really messed up this campaign plan. Plan was to try and get Thessalonica very early on. Now it's we still got a spy. 100% chance of getting in. Will we be able to open the gate? That's what this depends on. Right, we got our victory. We took minimal losses, which is good. Actually, we didn't take any losses at all. Bodyguards can recover. So we've got a full army going into the next battle, and we've killed 330 troops. Okay, okay, what do we have left? Ugh. Right, come on, it all depends on this. Come on. Right, it gets in, 32% chance. Ah, it, it didn't open the gates. Alright, what can I possibly do now? They had another attack with this army. That's not actually too bad. I thought that was larger, but they've got another army in the, in the fog somewhere. <laughs> uh, nah, nah. Okay, they're attacking me, as I expected. Right, what do we have? Right, that army's the main one. We've got to knock out those, and then they'd better not retreat again. Um, Alright, let's fight this. Alright, we've got a bit of high ground here. Where's their settlement? Ah, that's... Ooh! 
Hold on a minute. If they're going to come from that side, uh, they'll have a high ground boost. Uh, they're going to come from this rod. Yeah. Around about here, so... What do... What, uh, they're bringing phalanxes. And heavy cavalry. We might be better setting up here. They're going to probably set up there, and when, then we use the high ground on them. Yeah, that's a better plan. Right, uh, Miss Our Cavalry, you know what to do. Be annoying. <laughs> right, come on. Hopefully they're set up just there. Yes, yeah, close enough anyway. I I made the right choice there, I think. Yeah. Alright, uh, set up here. Okay, and run onto them. Okay, Miss Our Cavalry, you know what to do. Just try and distract them a little bit. Alright, send in the cavalry. Try to take out their archers or the cavalry early on. Either would be good. Put them in light cavalry on skirmish mode. And go in now for the general. Come on, we got to kill the general. And then get round to help this guy. Probably shouldn't have sent him in, he's too weak. Right, right, he got out of there, that's good. Come on, kill the general, kill the general. And, ah, I got away. Right, yeah, you chase down the archers, good. Right, knock out the archers. Right, peltists. Yep, keep firing in. Yes, you distract first, good. Although now we need to actually turn these guys around, because the general's getting close. Uh, where's actually... Actually, the best thing to do might actually be to run this way. Like that. Uh, cavalry, you got to be careful. Especially this guy. Ah, good, they broke, okay. Uh, we need to really break this one quick then, uh, before they come back. Right, we'll lose a few here, but if we can just... There we go, good. Right, run them all down. I don't want to fight these again. Right, you got to be quick, get out of there, get some high ground. Okay, they're basically in position at this point, so you get there, turn around, and you... Get ready like that, then put your phalanx down. Uh, get the infantry over here. General, yeah, move up at this point. We can run those down any time. Right, phalanx, are you ready? Ah, they've gone. Right, that's okay. They might have had enough troops to make it back. Ah, interesting, okay, haven't uh, They're willing to... Um, they want me to come to them. Uh, Cavill is tired. You go for their phalanx. Their heavy cavalry is going to be a big decider in this. Ah, uh, we're going for our cavalry. Oh, we didn't get a charge. Ugh. That's, that's messy. I didn't want that. Come on, phalanx. You got it. Oh, no. Come on. That phalanx has got to get in there before everything fails. Right, charge him a militia travel. Try to save a general. Come on, phalanx. Come on, phalanx. you got to save a general. Oh, he's broken, he's broken, no. Right, good, we killed their general. Oof, okay, okay. Right, uh, use whatever ammo you have left on those. Uh, you run them down. Right, get, as long as that, yeah, general should get out there safe now. Whew, 
Right, that was worth in. But both of our generals get out of there safe and sound, which is good. Not one death there. Come on, Pelters, get firing. Right, get all the pikemen run down. Right, lower your pikes. There we go, we've broken good. Right, cavalry finish them off, okay. 85% we need to kill, good, we got it. Uh, but it needs to be of both armies, so keep up the slaughter. Well done, soldiers, we got a win there. Oof. Now, hopefully, they don't come with any more reinforcements. There we go, we lost about 100, killed 700. Good job, soldiers. Vessel. Vessel, vessel is ours. Uh, well done. Okay, we've got some troops outside. Um, we're gonna have to exterminate it. Yeah, even though I want to occupy it to train troops, that just seems like the best way to go. And Scythia attacks. All right, what are they bring in? Missile cavalry, more missile cavalry. Ah, oh, there's nothing we can do against it. I should have probably gone for an alliance with Scythia instead of, instead of the Greeks. Try and get good relations there. We we can't do anything. We can't even we can't even fight it because we can't attack them. Okay, Thessalonica. Let's see what have we got. Good, a nice big settlement here. Uh, what can we recruit? Good, lots of good units. All right, what do we want to focus on there? Do we want do we want these units here? Are our Falksmen good enough? Falksmen are good enough. For now. Okay. Uh, what type of missile units do we get? Nothing in this settlement. We need a. Uh, it's just Peltus on first tier. Or we can go for some cavalry. Well, we're gonna be fighting the Greeks. What's best against the Greeks? We need to get around the phalanxes. To do that, we need more troops. To do that, we need numbers. So, uh, let's go for. Actually, we need gold short term. So that's not gonna help. That's a little too expensive. Maybe we could, we could just build nothing in here. And just go for troop spam instead. How are finances looking? We are going up, so we can afford it. Right, we'll go for the mines, okay. Yeah, light cavalry aren't going to do much against the Greeks. Light cavalry up here, maybe. Um, and yeah, some uh, phalanx pikemen. What's the difference? Yeah, miles better go for those. Uh, retrain everyone. And just sit there for a couple of turns. Uh, let's see how uh, Macedon, the Macedon situation unfolds. Hopefully they attack us. Because then we'll have a defence bonus. Um, ooh, actually. You know what? First of all, get a Temple of Ares going. Yeah, start getting the morale, uh, the morale up. Right, what military building do we want here? Yeah, get a barracks. Uh, so we can at least train some pikemen. Oh, right, diplomat, come on. We need we need to have some good relations with Scythia. I doubt we're gonna accept it now, uh, but we got to at least try it. We can't even get back home. Right, one more tier of archery range, and we should be able to get archers. Am I right? Yeah, archers could do something, and stone walls. Let's help the population, man. And we'll just turn uh, this settlement here into like a fort uh, designed purposely to hold off the Scythians. Right, you try to get down here, tempt them to split their troops up. This settlement here, do we lower the tax? No, we're not in desperate need to upgrade that one, now that we've got Thessalonica. But anyway, that's going to be the end of episode 1 of this race campaign. It mostly is a vanilla campaign, but with a bit more historical accuracy and difficulty in there as well. Uh, just to make it more entertaining for you and more torturous for me. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we've had a very good start, but clearly we're not out of it yet. Um, we There's a lot of danger surrounding us. Uh, Macedon, they're probably going to attack next turn or in at least two turns. And Scythia, this is going to be a really annoying situation. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed part one. If you have enjoyed, please do subscribe. And if you want to see more as well. If you want to help me out, please do share my videos as that helps me grow and everything. Yeah, and hopefully in part two, we should uh, sort out our defenses a bit and hopefully push a bit more on Macedon. Um, I think I really want these two settlements here, uh, this mountain settlement and Byzantium. 
uh, just to cover our backs a bit. Because uh, right now they can attack from basically anywhere. And I'd like to watch tower here as well so we can see what Dacia is planning. But for now, hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you in that second part. And good. Bye. Oh Squidward, oh Squidward, 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 Squid